your professor in this course has had the privilege of accompanying the process through which an evangelical theology of social involvement developed since the late 1960s in North America and in different parts of the world. Evangelicals are characterized by convictions about Jesus Christ, the gospel, and the Bible that are expressed in an intense missionary activism. For them, mission is understood mainly as the communication of the gospel to those who have not heard it. However, in the more recent years, we have seen a rediscovery of social dimensions of the gospel and the urgent need for evangelicals to respond to the growing challenge of poverty. Evangelical missionary activism from Europe and North America after World War II emphasized preaching of the gospel. However, by the 1960s, some voices were raising among evangelicals in North America, Great Britain, Latin America, and Africa, calling attention to a more holistic biblical vision. It was the call to reconsider the context in which mission was taking place the totality of the gospel, including faith in God as creator and the unity of all aspects of human life. Even if evangelism was kept as a central aspect of missionary work, there were important questions to be asked, such as the quality of the presence of the missionary among the poor and the power of the gospel to transform the life of those that received it, not only their spiritual life, but also their social and economic life. A key development for evangelicals took place in the Berlin Congress of Evangelism that Billy Graham sponsored in Berlin in 1966. In that occasion, John Stott, a respected theologian, pastor, and evangelist, offered a series of studies about the Great Commission in the Four Gospels. He called attention to the fact that the Great Commission in the Gospel of John was the less known and the most relevant. As my Father sent me, so I send you. John 20, 21, offered not only a missionary imperative, I send you, but also a model, as my father sent me, so I send you. Jaya Kumar offers us a brief description of how evangelical theology about the poor developed between a missions conference in Wheaton, 1966, and one in Oxford in 1990. Of course, this development is not only the development of ideas that are forged and elaborated in conferences, but of a great variety of models of action of service. Those persons that attend these conferences, as Jayakumar himself, are also activists in evangelism and social action. 